Well, hello and welcome to 1421. We are starting in a weird spot because I filmed uh, birthdays before this. I filmed two weddings before this and one baby boy being born before this. And all of that footage is gone. I paused the recording for whatever reason because I needed to go somewhere or do something else. I don't even remember why. And when I came back, I started recording again and I kept playing. And then when I went to export everything over, there was only this clip. So, I mean, it's it's all the gameplay. We haven't missed any gameplay, but we certainly missed all the birthdays and all the roles and all of that stuff. So, what I will say is nobody died. None of the young people that had birthdays today died. The only people who rolled to die was Tolly Smith in five years and Lindsay Goodwin in six years. So nobody is dying this year. Everybody is fine. And now we are in Liechtenstein for our very first birth uh, in the McOtter household. Okay, so I thought you were here and you were not, but Alexandra is in wolf form, and she is about to have a baby. She's married to Giovanni McOtter, so let's see what she's having. And it's their first, so we already know what the baby's going to be named, Alexandra or Giovanni. Also, it's 1421 officially now. It's a boy. Okay. This will be our third generation of Giovanni McOtters. Okay. Sweet boy. Okay. So let's let mom do her stuff real quick. Um, change the diaper. Wow. I got to go get my roller. Okay. First we roll for mom. She lives. And come on. 8, 10, or 20. Or 20. Yes. Okay. Baby Giovanni lives. That's fantastic. Will we get to find out maybe if he's a little wolf or not? Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, here we go. She's going to age him up. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. He's got mom's hair. And he's intense. Oh, my gosh. Especially if he's a little werewolf. Oh, look at that. He has a thing around his, his plum bob. He is definitely a werewolf. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go take his picture after I save. Oh, red eyes. Yes, he's a werewolf. Oh my gosh. Okay. His skin is so much darker than either one of his parents. I couldn't really remember what Alexandra looked like, but that's her. So, okay. Here is Giovanni McOtter with his purple on. He is so stinking cute. Okay. We have one last baby to be born and that is at Lillian's house it's her first baby as well they got married the same day that the McOtters got married so we're heading over to the summer house for Lillian and Royce to have their first okay here comes Lillian summer uh, having a baby while Royce is freaking out <laughs> And it's their first again, so, oh, it's a girl. So we have another Lillian. Great, one baby. We had one babies all around over here, which I'm not mad at at all. And then, let's see, we're going to have her do her normal stuff. And we're going to roll for mom. She lives an 8, 10, or 20. Mm, not a 6. Man, we were having three babies today, and I just knew they were all going to live. Uh, but they did not. Okay, I need you to put the baby down. All right, little baby Lillian. Oh gosh, Isaac and Dawn have a difficult family dynamic. Apparently they're arguing about something wherever they are. Dawn, you could come in here and make some eggs and toast. Okay, but that does it. That is it. Okay, so now let's talk about Harriet Morgan and Archer Wardmark. Now, we had a discussion about this in the last video because I was trying to say that I wanted Harriet to marry Archer since his wife, Juliet, no, Justine, died in childbirth as well as one of his twins. So he does have her other daughter, Juliet, still alive, who's, I know her head is under the counter in the kitchen, but 
Harriet also got the villainous Valentine trait. So I was like, okay, what if he marries her? But then I was like, okay, hold on. That's not really going to work. She lives in England. He lives in Scotland. But then as some enterprising genius people commented, there's no, nothing that says he couldn't have requested help from the family. And she is part of the extended family. So she decided to come and potentially either she got into some trouble, i.e. got pregnant before her trip to meet him and was like, okay, great. I've got some issues going on. So I'm just going to leave. Or she got pregnant on the way because she just wanted an adventure and so she said yes and then she got pregnant on the way over because she was doing a little bit too much adventuring but however whatever we decide to go with that is what we're going to say happened so they are going to be married but really only married in name like he is just being a nice guy and allowing her to stay there and at least for this first pregnancy they are not going to be like in love now whether or not they fall in love as she's helping him raise his daughter that is by the way not his daughter according to the family tree so he doesn't know that though, but she's going to be helping him raise Juliet as well as her child. And so once she has the baby, maybe I will roll and we'll see if I increase their romantic relationship anymore or if it stays kind of platonic where it is right now. They are good friends. This is where their thing is. So there are good friends, but they're not in love. And I know I said we were going back to our main house and then I took you over to the Scotland and everything that was going on over there. But it's because I forgot that I needed to make sure the wedding was done, even though they didn't actually have a wedding. But the quote unquote marriage is done. And Harriet is, we can say she's on her way over and she probably will get there tomorrow in game. But that doesn't matter. We've got everybody's birthdays in here. And they're all going to be aging up like when they need to. So none of that is a problem. All right. Everybody else at our house, I mean, everybody at our house seems to be doing fine. So we're going to get Grandma Alice to immediately go start doing some laundry. Kellen, why do you not have clothes on? Standing in the middle of the road, completely naked. Really, Kellen? This is unacceptable behavior. I'm going to copy his outfit and then let's see what oh he's not wearing clothes in any of them so let's at least do his sleepwear we'll just paste it and then his hot and cold wear okay so now at least for the main outfits that he wears all the time he has clothes okay I'm going to send him out here to check the garden it looks like everything is going well and he can't even fertilize anything so we will then send him out hunting we're gonna do the same thing with Harris he's gonna go out hunting Elizabeth is going to get out here and start on our little animals oh no our little w grass our grass got struck by lightning and it burnt, burned. Wow. I have never seen that happen before. I've never really paid attention. Prairie grass, that's what it is. Okay. We put the prairie grass back. Little Elizabeth is going to come out here. Oh, it's time. Okay. And then I know it doesn't matter. Sebastian, by the way, is still gassy. Maybe the one in real life is as well. Shona told me that. Every time I said her husband's name, his name is Sebastian. Every time I said Sebastian, he said, I, that's not, I'm not, I'm not outside. I'm not. Okay. Imagination. So let's see what gives you your imagination. This one does. Come in here and play dolls with your sister. And then you need thinking. So you can come over here and play shapes. And then baby girl has everything filled up. Grandma Ida is sleeping in here in the bed, like usual. Elizabeth, let's check 
these clothes, they're used and soaked. So let's put them down here. Oh no, their mushroom stool got struck by lightning as well. Wow. I need to just do a look around the property. Okay, well now seems like the perfect time to ask. How many of you have gotten up to do something like, I don't know, let your dogs out and you realize that the game was just running the whole time? <laughs> Uh, cause that's what I just did. I mean, thankfully I had it on one time speed because, you know, sometimes I don't. <gasps> he had a lucky escape. Harris loves to go hunting. Let's see what he killed. A pigeon, a pheasant, and a squirrel. Aw, he's holding baby girl. She's just chatting while her dad holds her. I love it. Look at this face Alice has given them. She's like, what are y'all talking about? Sebastian just flat refuses to get his last imagination. He just says, nope, I'm not doing it at all. Come in here and play with your big sister. She'll help you, and you don't know it, but she's going to be dying soon. So let's play with her as much as possible right now, Sebastian. Look at that. He's so close. Oh, she is too, actually. Oh, he's gassy, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. They still have a couple of days, but I do think that they're going to, uh, I think they'll age up before the baby gets here. If she is in her second trimester, not yet, she'll be in her second trimester at some point today, which means that at some point tomorrow, she'll be in her third trimester. And at some point the next day, Sebastian finally got it maxed, she'll be giving birth. So that's three days from now. No, two days from now. So Wednesday, she'll give birth. Oh my gosh. That means she's given birth the day everybody dies, but the kids age up the next day. Oh my gosh. That's going to be awful. The day that Ida and Elizabeth, little Elizabeth, both die is when she should be giving birth. So maybe that'll be a good thing. It'll be good news on an awful day. Oh my gosh, Grandma Alice said, I'm not old. Don't act like I'm old. I can play. I can still play. Oh, they're so cute. She's not going to be able to walk tomorrow. She's going to be like, I'm so tired from throwing that kid up everywhere. So cute, though. All right, Kellen is back from hunting. How did it go? He's confident. He doesn't have anything from hunting, does he? From liking fitness. Did he? Let's see what he got. Wow. Another squirrel, a small rabbit, and a pigeon. Okay. So our problem is not meat. Our problem is going to be the vegetables that go along with it. Because we have two pheasants. We have two squirrels. And then we have... Oh, no. We have two pheasants. I mean, we have one pheasant, two pigeons. Okay. We're going to first just put it all in the refrigerator without cutting it yet. And then I'll see about what food we can make. Great Grandma Ida should be waking up. Oh, also, we talked about the fact that Kellen has a stone in his pocket, a glimmer stone. Somebody, one person told me what may be the actual cause of it is that if anybody uses a cauldron to cook in, even though they're not a magic user, they might get a glimmer stone. I don't know how true that is or how consistent that is. But the other thing somebody suggested, which I love, was to say that um, somebody, the group that Kellen was in, like his battalion or whatever, when he was in war, they were hunting magic users. And he got that from one of the magic users that they hunted. I just thought that was cool that he had it and a couple of other people from war had it had them when they didn't have them before they left I thought that was a really cool idea you guys always come up with the best storylines I love it so much also here's another thing let me shout out to one of the commenters who continues to give me the exact time stamp of whatever she's talking about I, and I shouldn't say she because I'm not sure but whatever they're talking about they say like at 1321 so and so and then they and then they just say what it is 
And that is awesome because it helps me when you ask a question, I know exactly what you're talking about. Or if you make a statement about something, I know exactly where you're talking about in the video. Because sometimes with these videos, especially if I'm going to be out of town, I film them a few weeks in advance. Normally, it's just one week in advance, but sometimes it could be two or three weeks in advance. And so I forget exactly what is in which episode, just because there's so many of them. So it's so nice when you're specifically talking about something and you say to me like at at 127 and you just write it like that you don't have to do anything special it'll automatically tag it if you just put a time of any kind in there with the with the colon as long as you do it that way it'll show it to me so anyway I just wanted to give a shout out to the wonderful commenter who continues to do that all the time I love it all right looks like everybody is trying to get something to eat, and possibly start going to potty. Grandma Ida, let's see if she can. I don't think we need anything cooked right now. Oh my gosh, Sebastian, not Sebastian, Harris, will not stop carrying around our baby girl. Okay, first I wanted to look in the regular, like, food area, because she can make a cricket meal out of the stuff that they have, and then any meat she can use to make that. Then we've got mushroom soup that they can make. So there are a few things that they can make using the regular cooking system. Oh, we needed to go into town to get some flour. That is the only thing we're missing from being able to make a lot of these foods. So we're going to just eat what we have here, maybe make some mushroom soup with grandma, and then tomorrow, hopefully I'll remember to go to the store to go into town. But I don't know. I'm not great at it. Somebody came out here and made a mess. That's unacceptable behavior. Is that? Oh, there's prairie grass. What happened to this prairie grass? Did I just like put it there? It seems like it shouldn't be there. Anyway, um, Uncle Kellen is going to come out here. Oh, somebody straight called me out and said Kellen is... Um, Alice's brother-in-law not her son because I said something about uh her being that being his mom in the last one or not in the last one but in a recent one it was really funny I was like oh yeah that's right for some reason in my head I feel like they are mother and son instead of sister and brother-in-law anyway okay Elizabeth clean that up please Xavier is putting himself to bed. Let's see what's happening. Yes, yeah, Sebastian is too. And then our little baby girl is hungry. Let's get her some food. Oh, she's going to get food herself and then go to sleep. Great. Harris, you want some food, babe? Come over here and grab some leftovers. Yeah, your mom's got some pie left or your grandma does. Speaking of grandma, she needs to go to the bathroom. Harris, why is your phone ringing? That's not a thing that happens. I have to silence the phones again every time. I didn't have to do that before, but now I do. I would like to get them back a painting easel because I want the next generation to really get into painting like their landscaping. And like we used to do when they painted pictures, like there's that picture of Hugh and there's the, the thing outside that they first did. I want somebody to paint a picture of our house at this stage. So there's a couple of things that I kind of want them to work on. Let's see. Harris, um, refill the prairie grass feeder over here. Grandma is starting to get tired. Alice, probably time for you to go to sleep. Uh, Ida is too. Let's see. Elizabeth, you can clean up some things around here. Little Elizabeth can clean up some gross baby things before she goes to sleep and the babies are all oh they're kind of hungry okay let's see I told her to come eat but I don't think she ate so I'm gonna have her get up and get some chicken pie and then oh she's mad about something she probably doesn't like wake up time and I just woke her up yes she hates wake up time but she's hungry I can't help it all right and our little guy needs something to eat let's see what's in here that he can eat Oh, there's actually nothing. I'm going to let her, him get some eggs, not eggs, cheese and bread. And then we will probably, well, I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to have her cook something. We'll just have her do some popcorn crickets. 
I mean, little Elizabeth has been raising them for a while, so. All right, Sebastian's going to go to sleep. Elizabeth, no, I didn't really want you to eat those popcorn crickets, but I guess you can. You are a little hungry. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. She's the only one up other than Sebastian. No, that's Xavier. Other than Xavier, she's the only one up. She's pregnant, so we'll send her to the bathroom before we send her to sleep. And then, there we go. Everybody will be in the bed, and hopefully they'll be asleep. Lenata Miller is at our house with a future cube in her hand, but she does not live here, so no. I think she lives in Romania. She needs to go home. And so uh, that's going to do it. I'm so excited. We're two days away from a new baby at the main house. It seems like it's moving at a snail's pace. And I know that's because of what what all the way we're playing it, you know, where one day is one episode. But I, um, I can't wait to see what we're having and how many we're having. We are on a ley line. So I'm really hoping that it's twins. I, I don't care if it's boys or girls, whatever, because we already have two boys and I'm just hoping that they live as well. So that's going to do it for this one. I, oh, I really wanted to put the thing. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do so that I can remind myself for next time that I want to do this is I'm going to take two of these lumber pieces and I'm going to put them like this. Actually, I'm going to take three of them because I'm hoping to, to remind myself that I want to put like a canopy area out here for the, for the sheeps and goats to go under. I'm going to put a little roof on top of it. So hopefully that will remind me. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.